When we solve for a quadratic, we need to figure out what our a, b, and c is. So we have a is equal to 1 half, b is equal to negative 3, and c is equal to 5 over 2. If we plug that into our equation for the quadratic formula, we're going to get negative and negative. That's going to be positive 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times 1 half times 5 over 2, all over 2 times 1 over 2. We can simplify this information, so we're going to get 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 half is going to give us 2 times 5 over 2, all over 2 times 1 half, which will be 1. So we can simplify this out. This is going to be 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 5. All over 1 we'll just leave alone, so that's now going to simplify to 3 plus or minus the square root of 4, which simplifies to 3 plus or minus 2. So that means we're going to have two values for x. The first one is going to be equal to 3 plus 2. The other one will be 3 minus 2. So our answer will be 5 and 1.